Hello, welcome to John B. RD, the research desk. Today, in this tutorial, you will learn about dependence. So when can I claim myself as a dependent? A dependent is a person other than the taxpayer or spouse who ent entitles the taxpayer to claim a dependency exemption. Each dependency exemption decreases income subject to tax by the exemption amount. For 2014, the exemption amount is $3,950. A taxpayer cannot claim a dependency exemption for a person who can be claimed as a dependent on another tax return. The term dependent means a qualifying child or a qualifying relative. A, to claim a dependency exemption for a qualified child, all of the qualifying child dependency tests must be met. Dependent taxpayer test, joint return test, citizen or resident test, relationship test, age test, residency test, or support test. B, to claim, to claim a dependency exemption for a qualified relative, a person must meet the following tests. Dependent taxpayer test, joint return test, citizen or resident test, not a qualifying child test, member of household or a relationship test, gross income test, and support test. <clears throat> qualifying child, all of the following tests must be met to claim a dependency exemption under the rules for a qualifying child. Dependent taxpayer test, qualifying a child, if you could be claimed as a dependent by another person, you cannot claim anyone else as a dependent. Even if you have the qualifying, have a qualifying child or a qualifying relative, you cannot claim that person as a dependent. Joint return test. To meet this test, the child must be unmarried, married, but not, does not have a file, a joint return, or married and files a joint return only to claim a refund of withheld tax. Neither does the dependent nor spouse can claim personal exemptions on their joint return. Citizen or resident test, qualifying child. To meet this test, the child must be a U.S. citizen or resident or a resident of Canada or Mexico. Relationship test. To meet this test, the child must B, your son, daughter, stepchild, eligible foster child, adopted child, or a descendant. For example, your grandchild of any of them, or your brother, sister, half-brother, half-sister, stepbrother, stepsister, or a descendant. For example, your niece or nephew, or of any of them. Age test. To meet this test, the child must be under the age 19, at the end of the year, and younger than you, or your spouse, if filing jointly, a full-time student under age 24, at the end of the year, and younger than you, or your spouse, if filing jointly, permanently and totally disabled at any time during the year, regardless of age. Residency test. To meet this test, the child must have lived with you for more than half of the year, meet one of the exemptions listed below, temporary absence, illness, education, business, vacation, or military service, death or birth of child, a child who was born or died during the year. Support test, to meet, half, to meet this test, the child must not have provided more than half of his or her own support. No, there are special rules for a child that is a qualifying child of more than one person. Do research or get professional advice if you encounter this situation. Qualifying relative. All of the following tests must meet to claim a dependency exemption under the rules of qualifying relative. Dependent taxpayer test. If you could be claimed as a dependent by another person, you cannot claim anyone else as a dependent. 
even if you have a qualifying child or a qualifying relative, you cannot claim that person as a dependent. Member of household or relationship test live with you all year as a member of your household or be a relative to you in one of the allowable ways under relatives who do not have to live with you. Taxpayers will meet this test for persons who are relatives, even if the persons are not members of the taxpayer's household for the entire year, who are not relatives if the persons are members of the taxpayer's household for the entire year. Members of household test. Taxpayers will meet the member of households test for persons who live with them under the following conditions. The dependent does not have to be related to the taxpayer. The dependent must live with the taxpayer all year, except for temporary absence. Temporary absence include attending school, taking vacations, and staying in the hospital. The relationship between the taxpayer and the dependent must not violate local laws. Relationship test. Taxpayers will meet the relationship test if their relatives are one of the following, a child, a parent, brother or sister, step-parent or step-child, step-brother or sister, half-brother or half-sister, grandparent, grandchild, son-in-law or daughter-in-law, mother-in-law or father-in-law, brother-in-law or sister-in-law. If related by blood, relatives also include uncle, aunt, and niece or nephew. Cousins do not meet the relationship test. Relatives do not have to be members of the taxpayer's household. Relationships established by marriage are not ended by death or divorce. For example, a daughter-in-law is a relative to her in-law parents even after the death or their son, her husband. There are special rules for children during the year, adopted children and foster children. Joint return test. Taxpayers meet this test for persons who are unmarried, married, but do not file a joint return, or married and file a joint return only to claim a refund with withheld tax. Neither would have a tax liability on separated returns. Neither the dependent nor spouse can claim personal exemptions for their joint return. Remember, to claim a dependency exemption, all tests must be met. Citizens of residence test. Taxpayers will meet this test for persons who are, for some part of the year, U.S. citizens, residents, or nationals, or residents of Canada or Mexico. Not a qualifying child test. A child is not your qualifying relative if the child is your qualifying child or qualifying child of anyone else. Gross income test. Taxpayers will meet this test for persons whose gross income are less than the exemption amount. In 2014, the exemption amount is $3,950. Gross income is all taxable income in the form of money, property, and services. Includes unemployment, compensation, and certain scholarships, and does not include welfare benefits and non-taxable social security benefits. Support test. Taxpayers will meet this test if the taxpayer provided more than half of a person's total support for the entire year. Total support items include food, clothing, shelter, education, medical and dental care, recreation and transportation, and welfare, food stamps, and housing provided by the state. Compare the dollar value of the support provided by the taxpayer with the total support the person received from all sources. There are special rules for dependents who receive support from multiple sources and for a child or divorce or separate parents. Important point, the gross income test considers the dependent's taxable income. The support test considers all income taxable and non-taxable. Remember to claim a dependency exemption. All seven tests must be met. 
support test example. Ms. Hernandez is 72 years old and lives in an apartment. Last year, she received $3,000 in non-taxable social security benefits and 400 in taxable income, interest income, all of which was used for her support. Ms. Hernandez's daughter, Teresa, paid $4,800 during the year toward her mother's support. Total support includes taxable and non-taxable income. Ms. Hernandez's total support is $8,200. $3,000 plus $400 plus $4,800. She should pay more than half of her mother's support. $4,800. $8,200 equals 59%. She should can claim a dependency exemption for Ms. Hernandez. The dependency test comprehensive example. Beatrice is a single 18-year-old Canadian citizen who lives in Vancouver with her mother the entire year. In 2014, Beatrice earned $2,450. Beatrice provided 60% of Beatrice's total support. Beatrice's mother is not the dependent of anyone else. Can Beatrice's mother claim a dependency exemption as a qualifying child for her? The dependency taxpayer test is me, Beatrice's mother is not the dependent of anyone else. The joint return test is met. Beatrice is single. The citizen of resident test is met. Beatrice is a Canadian citizen. Canadian citizen. The relationship test is met. Beatrice is the child of the taxpayer. The age test is met. Beatrice is under 19. The residency, te the residency test is met. Beatrice lived with her mother the entire year. The support test is met. Beatrice did not provide more than half of her own support. Beatrice's mother can claim a dependency exemption for her. I hope you found this video valuable, and if you did, Please be sure to give a like and subscribe as it will help my YouTube algorithm. If you know anyone who would be interested in this video, feel free to share. I'd like to thank you in advance for coming to watch the video and showing your support. Until next time.